Welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Also follow me on Instagram for in case of any queries. In today's digital age, information is power. And just like any valuable resource, it's highly sought after, sometimes for less than noble purposes. We leave digital footprints everywhere we go online. Hackers, with their sophisticated techniques, know how to follow these trails, often using a method called OSINT. OSINT stands for Open Source Intelligence. It refers to the practice of collecting information from publicly available sources. This might sound harmless, but in the wrong hands, OSINT can be used to devastating effect. Imagine your personal information, your online habits, your whereabouts, all laid bare for anyone with the knowledge to look. This is the reality of OSINT. It's a powerful tool that can be used for good or evil. In this essay, we'll delve into the world of OSINT, exploring how hackers utilize it to their advantage. We'll uncover the tools and techniques they employ, the surprising sources they tap into, and the very real threat they pose to our privacy and security. But knowledge is power. By understanding how OSINT works, we can better protect ourselves from its potential dangers. OSINT, or Open Source Intelligence, might sound like something out of a spy thriller, but it's a very real and increasingly prevalent aspect of our digital lives. In essence, OSINT is the art of gathering information from sources that are freely available to the public. Think of it like a jigsaw puzzle. Each piece of information, no matter how small or insignificant it may seem, contributes to the bigger picture. Hackers, like skilled puzzle masters, collect these pieces from various online and offline sources, slowly building a comprehensive profile of their targets. These sources can range from social media profiles and public records to websites, forums, and even online shopping platforms. Anything you post, share, or interact with online can potentially be swept up in the OSINT net. It's important to note that OSINT itself is not illegal. In fact, it's a valuable tool used by various entities, including law enforcement agencies, researchers, and journalists, for legitimate purposes like investigations, market research, and trend analysis. However, in the hands of malicious actors, OSINT takes on a more sinister tone. Social media platforms have become our digital town squares, where we share snippets of our lives, our thoughts, and our experiences. While this interconnectedness has its benefits, it also presents a treasure trove of information for hackers skilled in OSINT. Think about the information you casually share on social media, your birthday, your hometown, your alma mater, your political views, your travel plans. Each of these data points, seemingly insignificant on their own, contributes to a larger digital tapestry of your life. Hackers can use this information to build a detailed profile of you, understanding your habits, your interests, and even your vulnerabilities. They can use this information to craft convincing phishing attacks, impersonate you online, or even gain access to your accounts through social engineering tactics. For example, a hacker might use your travel plans, gleaned from your social media posts, to send you a phishing email disguised as a flight confirmation or hotel reservation, tricking you into clicking on malicious links or revealing sensitive information. Section 5. Search engines, leaving digital footprints for hackers to follow. We often take for granted the ease with which we can find information online. A few keywords typed into a search engine can unlock a world of knowledge at our fingertips. However, this convenience comes at a price, our digital footprints. Every search we make, every website we visit, every link we click leaves a trace that can be exploited by those with the knowledge to look. Hackers understand this and utilize search engines as powerful OSINT tools to gather information about their targets. They employ advanced search operators, specialized syntax that refines search queries to uncover hidden information not readily available through standard searches. For example, they can use search operators to find specific file types, websites hosted on particular servers, or even pages that contain specific keywords within their code. This allows them to unearth sensitive documents, confidential reports, or even personal information that has been inadvertently left exposed online. By understanding how search engines index and retrieve information, hackers can turn these powerful tools into weapons of information warfare. Public records, a treasure trove of personal information. Much personal information is freely available through public records. 
These records contain data accessible by anyone, including hackers. From birth certificates to property records, public records offer a detailed glimpse into our lives. Many records are available online, often for a small fee or free. Hackers can use this information to verify identities and track individuals. Data Brokers – The Shadowy World of Buying and Selling Your Data In the digital age, data is the new currency. There's a thriving market for buying and selling it, often without our knowledge. Data brokers collect, aggregate and sell vast amounts of personal information. They operate in a legal grey area, amassing data from various sources. This information is packaged into detailed profiles, categorizing individuals. Hackers exploit this data to gain access to sensitive information. For example, a hacker could target individuals who have recently filed for bankruptcy. Our personal information is often treated as a commodity, bought and sold without our awareness. Looking for a way to safeguard your privacy, maximize your credit, and earn rewards all in one place? Meet Hogo, the ultimate privacy and financial management app that puts you in control of your personal data while rewarding you for making smart moves. With Hogo, you can easily swipe away your personal information from shady data brokers trying to profit off your details. Imagine being able to see exactly what these sites are selling about you, and with just one swipe, poof, it's gone. You'll receive instant confirmation that your privacy removal request has been processed. Got a blemish on your credit report like a late payment? No problem. With Hogo, you can take action on negative credit items in just one tap. It's as simple as pushing a button to work on issues on your credit directly within the app. Hogo also creates a custom plan to help you boost your credit score, with users reporting an average jump of 60 points within the first month. Pretty impressive, right? But here's where it gets really fun. Every time you take steps to protect your privacy or better your credit, Hogo rewards you with points called Hogo Coins. Rack them up and trade them in for gift cards to your favorite spots like Amazon, Starbucks, and more. Who wouldn't want to score free goodies just for taking charge of their financial well-being? If you're ready to protect your privacy, maximize your credit score and get rewarded for it. Check out the link in the video description or scan the QR code to grab your free trial of HOGO. Take control, get rewarded, and make smarter financial moves today. Section 8. Dark Web Marketplaces, where stolen data finds a buyer. The dark web is a hidden part of the internet, not accessible through standard web browsers. It's a haven for illegal activities, including buying and selling stolen data. Hackers monetize stolen information on these illicit marketplaces. Dark web marketplaces operate like online auction sites. Credit card numbers, social security numbers, and login credentials are traded like commodities. The anonymity makes it difficult for law enforcement to track down sellers and buyers. This underscores the importance of cybersecurity measures to protect sensitive information. Section 9. OSINT Tools, the hacker's arsenal for information gathering. Hackers use sophisticated OSINT tools to automate and streamline information gathering. These tools range from search engines to complex data aggregation platforms. Some focus on social media intelligence, mapping connections and analyzing sentiment. Others specialize in website analysis, revealing hidden directories and vulnerabilities. Some scrape data from the dark web, accessing stolen credentials and leaked documents. The sophistication of these tools highlights the evolving nature of cyber threats. Section 10. The importance of cybersecurity protecting yourself in a digital world. As our lives become increasingly intertwined with the digital realm, the importance of cybersecurity cannot be overstated. It's no longer enough to simply rely on strong passwords and hope for the best. We need to adopt a proactive and multifaceted approach to protect ourselves and our data from the ever-present threat of cyber attacks. This includes being mindful of the information we share online, both consciously and unconsciously. Review your social media privacy settings, be wary of phishing attempts, and think twice before posting sensitive information that could be used against you. Strong passwords are crucial, but consider using a password manager to generate and store complex passwords that are difficult to crack. Enable two-factor authentication whenever possible, adding an extra layer of security to your accounts. Keep your software and operating systems updated to patch vulnerabilities that hackers could exploit. And remember, cybersecurity is not a one-time task. It's an ongoing process of awareness, vigilance, and adaptation.
Section 11. Ethical Hacking, Fighting Fire with Fire In the ongoing battle against cybercrime, sometimes the best offense is a good defense. That's where ethical hacking comes in. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, use the same tools and techniques as malicious actors but with a crucial difference. They operate with permission and with the goal of improving security, not exploiting it. These cybersecurity professionals act as digital detectives, identifying vulnerabilities in systems and applications before they can be exploited by malicious actors. They conduct penetration testing, simulating real-world attacks to assess security posture and identify weaknesses that need to be addressed. Their findings provide valuable insights that organizations can use to strengthen their defenses, patch vulnerabilities, and better protect their data. Ethical hacking is a critical component of a comprehensive cybersecurity strategy, helping to level the playing field and stay one step ahead of those with malicious intent. It's a reminder that the same tools and techniques used for harm can also be used for good, and that the fight against cybercrime requires a collaborative effort from all stakeholders. Section 12. Conclusion. Stay informed. Stay safe. Join the CyberWorld YT community. In the ever-evolving landscape of the digital world, knowledge is power, and staying informed is our best defense against cyber threats. We've explored the world of OSINT, uncovering its capabilities, its potential for misuse, and the very real threat it poses to our privacy and security. But awareness is only the first step. We must take proactive measures to protect ourselves, from practicing good cyber hygiene to supporting ethical hacking initiatives. The fight against cybercrime requires a collective effort, a shared responsibility to safeguard our digital lives. Remember, you don't have to be a tech expert to stay safe online. Simple steps like using strong passwords, being wary of phishing attempts, and keeping your software updated can significantly reduce your risk. Join us on CyberWorld YT, your source for all things cybersecurity. We provide the knowledge and tools you need to navigate the digital world safely and confidently. Together, let's build a safer, more secure online experience for everyone.